Today, we're embarking on an epic journey through time to uncover the captivating story of one of the most legendary figures in exploration, Marco Polo. Marco Polo is a name that resonates with discovery, intrigue, and untold tales of distant lands. From the bustling streets of Venice to the farthest corners of the East, his adventures shaped the course of history. From the Silk Road to the courts of Kublai Khan, his travels weren't just about discovering new lands, they were about forging connections, bridging cultures, and igniting the flames of curiosity that would eventually spark the age of discovery. But as we peel back the layers of history, we'll also explore the debates and controversies that shroud his legacy. Did he truly venture as far as he claimed? Join us as we navigate through the intrigue and dive into the heart of this enigmatic explorer's tale. Hailing from a lineage steeped in merchant tradition, Marco Polo's roots can be traced back to a family that thrived on trade and commerce. Born within the captivating labyrinth of Venice, Italy, he arrived in a world where bustling marketplaces and bustling mines forged the city's essence. His birth coincided with a time of unparalleled exploration and burgeoning trade routes that wove through the very fabric of his hometown. As young Marco took his first breaths, Venice stood as a hub of international connections, with merchants from east and west converging upon its shores. Amid this vibrant tapestry of cultures, his family's merchant legacy came to life. His early years were marked by the echoes of tales spun by merchants returning from distant lands. Stories of exotic markets, mysterious customs, and the allure of the uncharted east permeated his upbringing, fueling his innate curiosity. Growing up within the embrace of his merchant family, Marco Polo's surroundings were adorned with maps, charts, and stories that spoke of adventures beyond the horizon. His childhood was a blend of practical education in commerce and a literary education in the art of exploration. From a tender age, he imbibed the spirit of wanderlust, nourished by the constant influx of travelers' tales and the allure of unexplored territories. Nurtured by his family's background, he was primed to embark on a journey that would carry his legacy far beyond the cobblestone streets of Venice. The merchant blood flowing through his veins would become the life force that propelled him toward the uncharted territories of the East, transforming him into a central figure in the history of exploration and discovery. Intrigued by tales of distant lands and allured by the prospects of trade, Marco Polo embarked on a transformative odyssey with his father, Niccolo, and uncle, Mafio, to the east. Their journey was more than a physical passage, it was a voyage of discovery that would forge connections between cultures and reshape the world's understanding of itself. The significance of their travels along the Silk Road cannot be overstated. This ancient network of trade routes spanned continents, serving as a conduit for goods, ideas, and cultures. As the Polos traversed this expansive web, they encountered a tapestry of civilizations, each contributing a thread to the intricate fabric of global history. Their journey stitched together the East and West, illuminating the value of cross-cultural exchange in an era when such connections were still nascent. Yet, their path was far from smooth. The Silk Road presented them with unforgiving challenges. The harsh terrain tested their endurance as they braved the scorching deserts, treacherous mountain passes, and unpredictable weather of the Silk Road's winding corridors. This perilous geography demanded not only physical resilience but also strategic thinking, as they navigated through environments that ranged from arid wastelands to verdant oases. Amidst the rugged landscapes, the Polos encountered a mosaic of cultures, each offering a new layer of complexity. Language barriers and differences in customs posed constant challenges. As they traversed the territories of diverse leaders and societies, diplomacy became paramount. 
Their encounters were not just about trade, they were about forging relationships, brokering understandings, and leaving behind footprints that would later facilitate broader global connections. Amidst their odyssey, Marco Polo, his father, and uncle traversed a vibrant tapestry of exotic lands, each unveiling unique treasures and stories. Their journey led them through Persia, India, and ultimately to the heart of China, illuminating the remarkable diversity of cultures and landscapes they encountered. In Persia, the Polos were immersed in a world of opulent bazaars and architectural marvels. The splendor of cities like Isfahan and Tabriz left an indelible mark on their senses, enriching their understanding of the intricate cultures that thrived along the Silk Road. From the opulence of Persian carpets to the intricate beauty of local craftsmanship, their experiences provided a window into the artistic and cultural depth of the region. As they ventured further, the subcontinent of India unfolded before them with its kaleidoscope of traditions. The bustling markets of cities like Kalam and Quilan offered glimpses into the vibrant trade networks that crisscrossed the region. Here, the Polos bore witness to the rich tapestry of Indian life, from the ornate palaces of kings to the spiritual devotion at Hindu temples, all contributing to their evolving cultural mosaic. Arriving in China, Marco Polo's interactions with Kublai Khan marked a pivotal turning point in his journey. Kublai Khan, the ambitious Mongol ruler, welcomed them into his court, where they engaged in diplomatic exchanges and shared insights from their travels. This encounter fostered a unique cultural exchange, as they introduced Western knowledge to the East and absorbed the wisdom of the Khan's empire in return. During their time in China, the Polos navigated bustling markets, marveling at the wonders of paper money, intricate porcelain, and the engineering marvels of the Great Wall. Their observations added depth to their account, encapsulating the interconnectedness of trade, knowledge, and human ingenuity along the Silk Road. Marco Polo's experiences in Persia, India, and China unveiled the grandeur of the East in all its facets, from the richness of cultures to the intricate tapestry of trade. His interactions with Kublai Khan and the cultural exchange that flourished under his patronage solidified their place in history as key conduits for global understanding and connection. After nearly two decades of traversing distant lands, Marco Polo's journey led him back to the shores of Italy. His return was a homecoming infused with the tales of the East, a treasure trove of experiences gathered over years of exploration. However, his arrival coincided with a time of conflict, as the Venetian Republic engaged in a fierce war with Genoa. Caught in the crossfire, Marco Polo found himself imprisoned within the confines of a Genoese prison. It was here that destiny would intertwine his fate with that of a fellow prisoner, Rustic Hello. Rustic Hello, a skilled writer and romance author, became an unlikely companion during Marco Polo's captivity. Bound by circumstance, the two men began to share stories, experiences, and the tantalizing narratives of Marco's travels across Asia. As they whiled away the hours in confinement, Rustic Hello recorded Marco's tales with vivid detail, weaving the intricate tapestry of his adventures into the fabric of their conversations. Marco Polo's retelling of his exploits was captivating, transporting Rustic Hello to distant lands and cultures. The vibrancy of Marco's accounts stirred Rusticello's imagination, while his writing skills refined the narratives into a captivating and eloquent account. This partnership of traveler and writer resulted in the creation of the famous book, The Travels of Marco Polo. Through the artful penmanship of Rustic Hello, Marco Polo's vivid descriptions of the East were preserved, etching into history a chronicle of their shared experiences.
This literary masterpiece not only encapsulated Marco Polo's adventures but also opened a window to the wonders and mysteries of the faraway lands he had explored. Thus, within the confines of a Genoese prison, a remarkable collaboration unfolded. The confluence of Marco Polo's first-hand experiences and Rusticello's storytelling prowess gave birth to a literary work that would transcend time, inspiring generations with the tales of an extraordinary journey along the Silk Road and into the heart of the East. Marco Polo's writings bore an indelible impact on the European perception of the East, unraveling its mysteries and captivating imaginations. His accounts, rich with vivid descriptions and exotic encounters, shattered the veil of the unknown, illuminating the far reaches of the world previously shrouded in myth and conjecture. Through his words, Europe gained insights into the cultures, commodities, and customs of the distant lands he had traversed, revolutionizing their understanding of the East. The echoes of Marco Polo's tales resonated far beyond the pages of his book. Future explorers, merchants, and navigators pored over his narratives, using them as navigational charts for their own journeys. His detailed accounts of trade routes, geographical landmarks, and valuable commodities provided a blueprint for those seeking new horizons. His writings became a guidebook for generations of adventurers, fueling their aspirations to explore uncharted territories. As a catalyst for exploration, Marco Polo played a pivotal role in encouraging future journeys of discovery. His descriptions of the wealth and opulence of the East stirred desires for new trade routes and untapped markets. His stories of distant lands inspired explorers like Christopher Columbus, Vasco da Gama, and Ferdinand Magellan to set sail and uncover the secrets of the world beyond their shores. Moreover, Marco Polo's narratives expanded geographical knowledge during the Age of Discovery. His documentation of far-off places and cultures enriched European maps, erasing blank spaces with accurate details. His work laid the groundwork for the creation of more comprehensive and accurate world maps, fostering a thirst for exploration and a hunger to fill the remaining gaps on the map. In the annals of history, Marco Polo stands as an architect of curiosity, a storyteller who painted vivid portraits of distant lands, and a catalyst for the age of discovery. His writing sparked a revolution in European understanding, reshaping perceptions of the East and propelling generations of explorers to follow in his footsteps. While Marco Polo's accounts have left an indelible mark on history, they haven't escaped the shadow of skepticism and controversy. Some historians cast doubt on the accuracy of certain claims made in his writings, sparking debates about the authenticity of his experiences. Skeptics point to discrepancies between his descriptions and known historical facts, raising questions about the extent of his travels and interactions. Critics argue that Marco Polo's vivid descriptions might have been influenced by the literary conventions of his time, potentially embellishing or romanticizing his adventures for the sake of storytelling. Furthermore, the lack of contemporary corroboration for some of his claims has fueled suspicions about their validity. On the other hand, proponents of Marco Polo's accounts highlight the cultural and linguistic differences that might have led to misunderstandings between him and the people he encountered. They point out that the Silk Road was a complex network, and interactions could have varied greatly across regions and time periods. Moreover, the absence of definitive evidence doesn't necessarily negate his contributions, historical records from that era are fragmentary at best. While the controversy endures, Marco Polo's lasting influence remains undeniable. Regardless of the extent of his personal experiences, his writing served as a window into the East for European readers. His accounts inspired explorers and fueled the age of discovery, 
leaving an enduring legacy that shaped the world's understanding of geography, cultures, and trade routes. Whether fact or fiction, Marco Polo's tales remain a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring human fascination with exploration and the unknown. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through Marco Polo's legacy. If you enjoyed learning about this legendary explorer, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video with fellow history enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting explorations and historical insights. Your support keeps the spirit of discovery alive. Until next time.